In this excerpt from the full interview with Dr. Marion McCurdy, the granddaughter of Aaron Sachaklian, one of the three masterminds of Operation Nemesis, Dr. McCurdy answers a question I have about why Sogolmun omitted the name of one of his closest confidants, his handler, Shahan Nadali. Shahan Nadali's name is nowhere to be found in his memoir. And so I asked Dr. McCurdy why, why, why she thinks that he did that. Her answer is quite uh, intriguing. I think it's the right answer. Um, enjoy. Oh, but first, make sure you subscribe and share and click the notification bell. What we haven't stated, I don't think necessarily, is your your grandfather's name, Aaron. You've referred to him, but the, the Aaron Sachaklian um, and your grandmother, is, you're referring to her, her name was Eliza? Eliza Dedmekonian. And um, so Aaron Sachaklian, Armin Garo, and Shahan Natalie are the, the masterminds of Operation Nemesis. And in Sogolmund's uh, memoir, he recounts going to um, Boston, um, that he, he gets connected with the, the team, and they, they bring him to Boston, and he meets Armin Garo. He doesn't mention whether he met Aaron Sachaklian or not, but I imagine he did at some point because he was in Boston for several months. Um, and then he goes, then they send him to Berlin, where he first meets Shahan Nadali. And in the memoir, it's clear that their relationship was close and very you know, very important. And even there are pictures in the um, Sogolmund's personal photo album of him with Shahan Nadli, except he doesn't mention Shahan by name. I have a theory about that, but I don't know uh, if you are aware of that or have a theory why Sogolmund only references uh, the other spies he was with, he uses like their code name, like Hamo and Hazo, just the abbreviation, but he doesn't mention Shahan at all by name. He just references my friend who, in reference to the handler, but he doesn't mention him by name. Do you have any, any, did you know that? And do you have any theories? I'm not at all surprised. They kept their names quiet. They okay, didn't talk. that was my theory. Oh yeah, no, 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 no talking. Nope, 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 can't do it. No. So in the in the memoir, he mentions Armin Garo by name, but Garo had long since passed away when he wrote the memoir. So there was no fear of disclosing this guy, and so he, my that was my theory is that he was protecting Shahan's identity because Shahan lived to be like he lived till the eighties or nineties. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. So, all right. Well, I know that Shahan also. Shahan had a falling out with the ARF. And so that was a, some, there are other people who have that theory that, that the ARF actually got a hold of this memoir and changed it and kicked and took Shahan out of it, et cetera. No, no. Okay. They did not speak of, of these people. They did not. I mean, let's face that it. That makes remember, sense. Um, I think that, that Aaron kept his files to himself because that was the best way he could protect them. The ARF might have destroyed them, or if they didn't destroy them, they might have given them to somebody that wouldn't have been as careful. Mm. He kept them to keep them safe. So that's my guess. And that's why I think why he think I think he did what he did. He kept them so that his granddaughter could discover them and publish them. <laughs> well, I don't know if he this is the thing I, I've been asking myself did he have any inkling what was going to happen when he died did he have any right. idea what what we would do with this stuff he must have known my mother would pounce on it he must have known that we would be eager to read this stuff i i don't know i'm 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 curious myself what he would have thought what just, would he approve of what, what i've done destiny <laughs> i don't know hey yes i would say he would approve <laughs>